Time for tonight's rewrite. Kansas has a wild pig problem, and his name is Virgil Peck. One of the more successful methods used by the state of Kansas and the U.S. Department of Agriculture for shooting wild hogs is shooting them from a helicopter. When the spending for feral hog control, it's Kansas, the spending for feral hog control came up in the Kansas House Appropriations Committee on Monday, Republican Virgil Peck of Tyro, Kansas, wondered aloud if shooting hogs from the sky was so effective, perhaps it would be equally effective to control illegal immigration in the same way. Quote, it looks like to me if shooting these immigrating feral hogs works, maybe we have found a solution to our illegal immigration problem. When he was first asked about that comment, he was unapologetic. I was just speaking like a Southeast Kansas person, he said. He expected no controversy over the remark. It's over, he said. He was wrong, very wrong. Democratic State Representative Bob Grant of neighboring Cherokee said, I have no intention of letting Representative Peck brand me with his own extremist views just because I live in the same region. And State Representative Doug Gatewood of Columbus said, we want to make it absolutely clear to the people of Southeast Kansas that we absolutely do not share Representative Peck's point of view. Then today, less than one hour, after Republican Kansas Governor Sam Brownback said Mr. Peck should apologize, and the state Republican Party director paid him a visit, Representative Peck issued this brave statement. My, statement, my statements yesterday were regrettable. Please accept my apology. Apology not accepted. Some apologies require more than a piece of paper. Getting most apologies accepted usually actually requires that you somewhere use the words, I'm sorry, or I apologize. I invited Virgil Peck to come on the show and use those words in this segment tonight and rewrite himself. But he never returned our repeated phone calls. The murder-minded Mr. Peck who delights in imagining unarmed men, women, and children running along under helicopters as they are being shot dead in their tracks by good Christian Kansas sharpshooters, is, of course, pro-life. Sadly, he is not the only Kansan whose fidelity to the principle of pro-life ends at birth. Everyone, everyone, who Virgil Peck would be amused to see shot dead as they run across Kansas fields in fear of homicidal maniacs in helicopters was once a fetus. And when they were fetuses, Mr. Peck would spare no effort to protect them, no matter where they came from, no matter what papers they had or didn't have. The God-fearing Christian man of principle Virgil Peck no doubt is his orders to the murderers in Kansas helicopters regarding any pregnant woman they found running across a Kansas field would surely have been, aim for the head, we've got to save that fetus.